Hey there, how are you doing? Just before you watch this, I just wanted to add a little rider, a bit like the capsize test video. What you should be aware of is, I'd done very little research before I did this into how to actually get back into a boat. And actually, having done some research since I did this video, I found there's not an awful lot out there about how to get into a capsized inflatable kayak. There's quite a lot about how to get into a hard shell kayak, but inflatables are very different and they, they move around very differently in the water. So I just want you to be aware that this was totally an experiential test. I wanted to see what it felt like to try and get back into the water and what I felt like trying to do it. I hope you get something out of this. Good morning, inflatable fans. I'm down here by Selby Canal and I'm gonna be doing a bit of testing today. I'm going to be flipping various crafts over on their sides with me in the water and seeing how easy it is to actually get back in because I've never actually done this and a lot of people that I know that uh, paddle inflatable crafts they don't know either even though there's information out there it's one of those things where you kind of want to know for yourself let's do this Now what you're not supposed to do, put your feet underneath here. I'm right underneath the boat. I shouldn't be. That's the front, there it is. That is proving difficult to get back in. It yeah. Is. Right. The paddle's on the other side. Let's try the turn the boat around. Yeah. That's a good boat. Let's just get in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's hard work. Yeah, yeah. And this boat does rock an awful lot more than, than that one. one. 
Oh. Get in now. Yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> I want to do it from in the water. Because that is the idea. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get in from the end. See if we can flip this one. Oh. <coughs> so we need to flip it round if we can. I'm gonna see if I can get back. You know this one definitely won't work that way. So that one appears to tip over easier when you're trying to get back in. Yeah, looks that like way. Yeah. Looks like I've got caught on the, on the rope here. Right. So let's go on this side. Yeah, this one's hard to get in. Right. Try this again. Offset. The other side. What I want you to do. That's uh, pretty really easy now, that's good. What I want you to do, imagine up there, yeah? Yeah. There's a great white heading towards you. <laughs> You've seen the fin, it's 200 metres out. Whoa. You need to get in the boat. <laughs> he hasn't got there yet. He's just sniffing you. He's, he's 100 metres out. Thankfully I'm not bleeding. Yeah. You're having a bleeding time getting in. Yeah. Are we sideways on? We're there. I don't think it's a cat in hell's chance. So, another option. What about using the drive bag? Yeah. You know, 
facing. I was thinking more facing the other way. I'm going to be doing a Pirates of the Caribbean. You're not too hard to work. Just off your legs from going underneath the boat. Yeah. You need a ballast on the other side of the boat. Yeah. You can wind your legs, one and kind of come up. You have the earth to come up underneath it. And you actually need your legs to be. Oh, I'm almost there. Yeah. Right, one last go. This one. You need to, you need to keep my legs out. Hold on to them. Oh. That one was far out, but it wasn't. I ended up touching the bottom and threw me off. Right. Sorry to get wet. All right. I'll dry off. I think if you haven't put your hand over, because then you'd pull in. Yeah, keep it on that handle. I thought you were kissing it then. I thought you were kissing it then. <laughs> keep it on. Use the handle to pull. Keep hold of the handle. The handle is what's helping, I think. I'm calling that one. Yeah, that's ten minutes. Got me. Yep. Well, do. Bruce got you. We'll do this again another day. Can't get in that one. What we'll do is we'll do this one again another day after I've done a bit more research into this. Oh. What did you think? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts were and what your thoughts are about what I could maybe do better. I do think everybody that paddles an inflatable boat should have a go at this at some point. At least try and get back in their boat so they know how to do it. As I said at the beginning, because there's very little out there on how to get back into a capsized inflatable, I am going to do a bit more work on this and I will produce further videos on this matter. So please let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Thanks for watching. You take care. Cheerio.